Oh, that's definitely a bite. That is a fat whitely. Welcome to another night fishing video, guys. Tonight, I'm not gonna be fishing with the underwater camera rig. The simple reason is because <laughs> I forgot to charge it. I will be instead fishing with regular bottom angling for some whitling or hopefully some cod. Let's see how this goes. Let's go! See, either they're biting or it's the wind. Oh, that's definitely a bite. Okay, I think we got a fish. Let's see. Oh, he's still on. Let me remove the bell first. Feels heavy, but I think it's the current that is. It wasn't fighting. Let's see. That is. That a uh, cod or whiteling? Come here, buddy. No, no, relax. That is a fat whiteling. I've never seen a whiteling this big. <laughs> That's definitely a keeper. Nice. Oh, he's badly hooked. Look what he has. He also have a herring in his mouth that he has swallowed. <laughs> that is a fat whiteling. I'm just gonna get my tool and remove the hook. I mean, I'm not an experienced fisherman, but that is definitely the biggest whitling I've ever seen. Oh, slippery. Swallowed the, he had a herring inside, he swallowed it. So what I wanna do is, I wanna bleed him. So you always want to bleed a fish because it will taste better uh, that's what i've learned and it will uh, the meat will stay fresher as well you cut the gills like so and then you put them in water and you see the blood starts to pumping out because the heart has not stopped even though he's knocked out okay they're biting again I'm gonna tighten the line just a pinch. Let's see if he got away or not. I think he got away. The bite has stopped, so let's check the bait. I think we got stuck. Yeah, we're definitely stuck. So whenever you're stuck, there's a trick you can try to do is tighten the line and then release. Sometimes it can get un get free. <laughs> Obviously not this time. But I'm gonna try to yeah drag up the line with my uh, gloves and hope that we get loose. Let's see. I think maybe maybe. Nope. Oh, there we go. Felt like it was a lot of grass. I think. At least we didn't lose the rig. Let's see if there is any bait left. Oh, there was definitely a fish. <laughs> Grass and a small flat fish. But obviously too small to keep, so let's release him. Look what I found as well. Let's release the fish first. Come here, buddy. There you go. I got stuck with another rig that someone has lost. That's what it was. Yeah, let's throw it in the trash. The seagulls are hovering over me because uh, some fishermen left pieces of herring that I've been using for bait. And it might look nasty, uh, but it actually doesn't go to waste. They, they eat it up, so want to let you know why you why I always remove the bell when I'm reeling up because this is what can happen the line can get tangled in the, in the spring I had to destroy it but I didn't want to risk the line looks funny 
it still operates with one, so it's not the end of the world. Let's remove this one. Okay, we got a fish. It took a while to set the hook. It feels heavy, but then again, I got. Oh, that explains it why it feels heavy. Two white links. <laughs> Awesome! So guys, I ended up catching uh, three whitelings and one of them, to my inexperienced eyes, was really big. You let me know, is this considered big for uh, Swedish water here in Helsingborg? 30 centimeters? The bites are actually crazy uh, now that it's getting late, but uh, yeah, I can't stay here all night. <laughs> so I'm gonna gut the fish, uh, take them home. It won't make a lot of meal, obviously, but I've never tasted whiteling, so it would be interesting to, to just taste it, because I heard it's, it's quite good. And my hands are so cold right now, and it's so late, so <laughs> it's not easy to do a good job. I'm curious if you can see the herring that he swallowed before. I know this looks nasty. <laughs> Yes, this is a row. Anyone in the comment field can maybe sh let me know. I think people can eat row, but yeah, I won't. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, please feel free to smash the like button and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. So the fish has been in the refrigerator for almost 24 hours. So even though it's night, it is not the same night uh, as I was wishing. And the plan is to uh, fillet them, pan fry them with flour, egg and uh, some uh, breadcrumb and salt and pepper. And with side, gonna dip it in some uh, sweet chili sauce. Let's rinse off the fish first and then fillet them. I already did two smaller uh, whitelings and uh, I butchered them, so to say. I wouldn't say I did a good job, but I'm still learning. And just run the line next to the dorsal fin. Run through the knife, through the fish like so. And then start to flip out the meat like so and then just sorry for the bad angle and just run the knife let me see if I can show it like this you can hear the, the rib cage and cut up all the way to the top of the head so you, do, so you get as much meat as possible I am a beginner at this so <laughs> I'm probably doing it wrong anyway. And the knife through. People who have done this many times are probably thinking, oh my god, what is he doing? <laughs> so we ended up with a fillet. Not so bad for someone who hasn't done this a lot, I think. So there are probably better methods, but the way I do is use a fork to uh, hold it down because the skin, yeah, it's really slippery. And then just cut gently. So after you have filleted the fish, uh, place the fillet in uh, cold water and rinse it a couple of times because uh, there can be small scales and then dry off the fish before you put it in the flour, then egg, then the breadcrumbs and then into the pan. Oh, 
that won't take long just until they get this uh, golden brown color. If you notice that they are starting to flake, then yeah, you know they are done. There we have it. Pan fried whiteling, sweet chili sauce, nothing complicated. I'm gonna first try it without the, the chili sauce. Really good. I can definitely eat that again. And now with some sweet chili sauce. Mm. Yeah, I can definitely recommend Whiteling. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Merry Christmas.